Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let's have a look at this question which states that suppose A is some group element, right? And we are given that its power 6 is equals to the identity element E. Then they are asking what are the possibilities for the order of A. Can we say anything about it? If yes, then we have to give reason for, is, uh, for that. And if no, we also have to give reason for that, right? So we are given that A raised to power 6 is equal to the identity element. So, and moreover, we are required to say something about the order of A using this expression. So first of all, we should remember what is the definition for the order of an element. It is the smallest positive integer n such that the uh, power of that element x, x raised to power n is equals to e, correct? So here, obviously, if a raised to power 6 is equals to e is given. So that means either 6 is the smallest positive integer. If that is so, in that case, the order of a is 6. If that is not so, that means the order of a has to be less than 6. Why? Because it is the smallest positive integer of such kind. So therefore, from here, we have this condition. So the possible orders of a, they are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right? So uh, we already have discussed about the case of 6. If that is so, that means this condition is already given to us. So this is the smallest positive integer. If not, what other options can we have? So I claim that the order of this element A is a divisor of 6. Let's see how this is possible. Is it possible or not? So the possibilities as I've told you are these only because uh, we are only taking the numbers which are equal to or less than 6 because we are given a raised to power 6 is equals to e. Right? Once you know this thing, let's discuss each case one by one. When the order of a is equal to 1, in that case, 1 is the smallest positive integer such that you have a raised to power 1 is equal to e. Right? a raised to power 6 is equals to e is also satisfied in this case. You can see it here. You can write a raised to power 1 6 times right so it would be e6 times which would which is nothing but the identity element so which is which becomes your given condition hence this order could be there right what about the order 2 the for the order 2 if the order of a is 2 in that case you would have a square is equal to e therefore in that case you can write a raised to power 6 as a square a square a square which is e e e which is e right so therefore you can write it like this a raised to power 6 is equals to e which also satisfies the given condition right so it doesn't harm anything uh, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, disagree with the given condition. So we will say this order could also be accepted. The order of a could also be accepted. It is the smallest positive integer of such kind such that a square is equals to e. Correct. And you, uh, if a square is equals to e, you will have all the multiples of it equal to uh, e, right? Like this. So you see this is also there. What about the third case when a is 3? When a is 3, then you would have the order of a, which is a cube is equals to e. So you can write a cube into a cube. That is also e. So which is the given condition. Hence, we, also, we can also have this as our order. What about 4? If the order of a is 4, in that case, you, have, you would have a raised to power 4 is equals to e, right? So uh, that means you do not have any integer less than 4, which satisfies this condition. However, we are also given this condition a raised to power 6 is equals to e. So therefore, using this, both of them, we obtain a square is equal to e. How? You can write 2 as 6 minus 4, right? Using the law of exponent, you can write this as a raised to power 6, a raised to power 4, whole raised to power minus 1. Now, by the given condition, this is e. By the, uh, because the order of a is 4, it is also e, so it becomes e. So you obtain in this case, a square is equal to e where 2 is less than 4, right? So 4 cannot be the order because a smaller integer than 4 is available to us, which is 2, right? So therefore, this a cannot be there. What about the fifth case? In the fifth case, if we suppose the order of a to be 5, in that case, a raised to power 5 has to be equal to identity element. And moreover, we are given that a raised to power 6 is the identity element. So therefore, you can write 1 as 6 minus 5. There is no issue. 
then using the law of exponent you can expand the terms because by the given condition this is e and by the order it is e right by the definition of order it is e so it becomes e so you have a raised to power 1 is equals to e and 1 is less than 5 and so that uh, 5 is not the smallest integer such that it satisfies this condition so therefore it cannot be the order in this case correct so uh, in the last case when a is 6 it can definitely be the order right so therefore the possible orders for a they could only be 1 2 3 and 6 right and if you see them closely they are nothing but the divisors of the number 6 right so uh, i hope you understood this question well well that well that is it for this video thank you for watching